What it do, Bukas crew? Uncle Bukas back at it again in his truck ranting about some stuff. Little side note. And then those two hurricanes I mentioned last rant, they missed us. I mean, well, they missed me and where I live. They kind of uh, ransacked the west side of the state there. Shout out to them. Hope everyone's doing well. Hurricanes suck, man. I lost my house in 06 to a hurricane. Was not fun. But, you know, people in Louisiana be resilient. We're going to get it done. Buy a Ford. Lamarck. If you're from here, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Anyway. Sorry for delaying the rant. Let's talk about a person who once upon a time I thought was really cool, but the more I think about it, he's a complete dick. And that would be Mr. John Fogarty. Probably not the person you thought I was going to talk about. Let me talk about why I did not like Mr. John Fogarty. Without looking it up, where do you think Mr. John Fogarty is from? Where do you think he originates from? Give you a second there. He's from Southern California. Okay, how did John Fogarty get big in CCR? And for those who don't know, that's Clean It's Clearwater Revival. Probably his most famous song ever was Born on the Bayou. Are there any bayous in California, Southern California to be specific? No. Most people in Southern California look at Louisiana and think we're a bunch of dumb hicks who all deserve to die. But Mr. John Fogarty, what he did is called cultural appropriation. Yes, he took the whole Louisiana, Southern Louisiana, Cajun ethnicity, if you will, making up words here. He took that and made that his thing to where you thought he was like this cool Cajun man from New Orleans. No, he's from fucking Southern California, okay? He can take his Southern California bullshit and get out because he doesn't know what it is to be a Cajun. He talk about I'm born in a bayou, married to a Cajun queen. Bitch, you ain't married to no motherfucking Cajun queen. And it really pisses me off that he took it. He took what makes us unique and he just spun it and he made money off of it. I don't even really know if he gives a shit about Southern Louisiana. He probably doesn't. He's probably like, oh, this is cool. I'm gonna do this. Okay, I'm gonna make a little buddy. And then, outside of his cultural appropriation bullshit, he also is an asshole. Because in CCR, right before they officially broke up, he was telling other people how to play the instruments. John, you can barely sing and you can kind of play guitar. So maybe you should stick to your shit and let the other people do what they do better. And I don't blame the guys who ended up leaving CCR because fuck Fogarty. He's a dick. And most people from California, if you talk to them, now, I'm not, I like California. I've been there. I go there. Uncle Bukas makes his trips to Nam. Not, not going this year because, you know, of the whole virus thing. I like California. I like to visit. I got some homies who live in California. Shout out to Alex and Ben. Most other people in California, whenever a hurricane comes up, they're like, oh, you just can't move. You just can't get out the way. It ain't that fucking simple. Just uproot yourself and leave. Going back to Fogarty, the whole focal point of this rant it, it just, it disgusts me because there's so many good, talented musicians from Louisiana who, who have, you know, taken the Zydeco way. I mean, they used to have a uh, Cajun Music Grammy, but they decided to do away with that. Fuck you, Grammys. Grammys are stupid anyway. It's literally a pop popularity contest. It's just like, oh, oh, you want to get nominated? Grease the right wheels and you'll get nominated. Fuck the Grammy. They took that away from us. And there's so many good artists here that don't really get the recognition they deserve. I guess, I don't know. Maybe their music sucks or people just look down upon them. But they really don't get the type of recognition that they deserve. But yet, Fogarty, I mean, way before I was born, he just took it, monetized it, and made all kind of money off of it. And he hasn't really paid back the tribute. If that makes any sense, you know, he hasn't really like donated any money here. Not that he has to. It's his money. He can do what he wants. It feels fake to me. I guess that's what the point I'm getting at. All right. This is not really that much of an angry rant, guys. I, I know. I just, I wanted to get it off my chest. Fogarty can kiss my ass. The whole reason I brought this on was my wife's been listening to CCR radio and Born on the Bayou came on. And I started thinking about it. I'm like, that motherfucker ain't born in no bayou. I don't know if that motherfucker's even visited a bayou. Uncle Bukas was born in a bayou. He was born on Bayou Lafouche. And he was raised in Bayou Terrebonne. And I got a camp in Bayou the Cad. So if anyone knows about Bayou, it's me. It ain't Fogarty. People down here know about Bayou. Fogarty don't know about shit. All right, I'm out. Later. Later.